how to test LEDs we have these cylindrical larger I have some cylindrical but smaller size okay we have these SMD surface mounted devices and those SMDs that's an LED strip how to test them using a multimeter that's a digital multimeter and here it has a diode sign just rotate that there it even has a buzzer and it's for the diode so LEDs are light emitting diodes and this is also a diode if I just touch these it's making a sound plus the numbers go down to zero so zero means a perfect conduction between this and that it has a positive, a red, and a negative, a black. The positive is in the middle and the black is down there. Because you can remove these. And you can place that there, but that's for amperage measurement. So this has to be there in the center and the black is common. First of all, let's pick a diode, an LED, and let's analyze it. This cylindrical one has a longer leg and a shorter leg. The longer one is the positive and the shorter one is the negative. If they are cut off then you cannot know which one is shorter and longer. In that case you can look at the inside of the LED. On the inside it has a left part, a smaller one and a larger one on the right side. So always the smaller one, which is here on the left side, that's the positive. And the size of the leg also says that the longer one is the positive. So if the smaller one is the positive, then I have to connect my red there. And the negative goes to the black. And voila. So the multimeter is giving us a small electric current and it's lighting up the diode and it's not showing any numbers there it's not going down to zero so this is a good diode if i reverse it of course it's not conducting because it's conducting in just one direction and that's why it's a diode so it should conduct in one way positive to positive and negative to negative and it should also light up so that's a good diode okay the rest of them are also good i tested them but these smaller ones are not good so if you take a look this also has a smaller side on the left and a larger on the right so let's connect the positive there and the negative there i don't see any light but the numbers go down almost to zero so instead of lighting up this conducts and if i reverse it it's conducting in that way also and it's not lighting up so it should not conduct it should light up whereas this is conducting so that's a bad LED okay the next one is this flat surface mounted device and in this case where the solder is visible that's the negative yep and also there is no number on the multimeter nothing but it lights up and it should not light up on the other so in the other direction it's not lighting up neither the other one okay but the second one also lights up so that LED is also good okay now the last one is a bit more complicated as we can see it has three legs on both sides Free here and free there and it has multiple things inside those tiny zones there okay and this one is marked negative here so this side should be connected to the black and the other one to the red and voila it lights up more exactly it's not visible on the camera it's barely visible on this camera but this this LED has multiple lights inside depending on which leg I'm powering now maybe you can see it's lighting up the top part 
top part also I'm moving the left one down and it's lighting up the top okay so the left side is common but the right side is not common now it's lighting up the center now the lower part center top center down so the same thing here there is no number on the multimeter negative to negative positive to positive side and it should light up like so if I reverse it of course it will not do anything it's not lighting up and it's not beeping and it's not measuring anything on the multimeter either so that's how to measure if your LEDs are working or not that's how to test them by using the multimeter